Hello and welcome in this new video where you will learn how to start building your first Web of Things application project. We will use two simple tools, What Application Manager and TD Code. I'm Cristiano Guzzi, I'm an invited expert at the W3C working group of the Web of Things. You can find me on GitHub or on Twitter. So, uh, before continuing, I encourage you to watch this great tutorial by Ege Korkran where you will learn the philosophy of the Web of Things and its main building block, the thing description. Briefly, the thing description is a file where humans and machines can learn how to interact with a physical or a virtual device. So, let's talk about What Application Manager. What Application Manager, also shortened as one, is a simple CI tool that configures a Node.js application. If you're already familiar with other uh, web frameworks like Angular or Vue.js, you probably already know such tools like Angular CLI or Vue CLI. One does exactly the same but for your Web of Things application. It also bundles your application in a single file so that you can deploy it to your IoT development board. It also has basic support for templating and right now we support two simple templates for JavaScript and TypeScript but in the future you can write your own templates so that you can help other developers in the development of the Web of Things. Finally, WAM is built for NodeWatt. NodeWatt is an implementation of the script API published by the W3C. Basically, it's where your application runs. It's a Node.js runtime, and you can find more in the link in the description. So, without further ado, let's start coding. We will open our terminal application here, and then we will install uh, one using Node Package Manager. If you don't already install Node Package Manager, you can find the link in the description. So npm i what I I can leave you the right command in the description below of course uh, and we will install it globally so that it can be later used in the terminal. So while it's installing, I want to show you TD code. TD code is a bare minimal VS code extension that helps you to validate your thing description files. As I said, thing description are very important for your what application. TD code helps you to know that they are correct and also gives you some hints how to compile and how to fill some properties of these things descriptions. And we will see it in the tutorial in a moment. So let's go back to the terminal and see if one is installed. Okay, one is installed, we will use the 0.5.1 version and now let's create our first project. So to create our first project you just need to type one in it the name of the project, we call it demo. So now one is started, we will choose TypeScript as our language, uh, the name is demo, the version is 1.0.0, description is simple, demo and uh, we will left these properties empty. So now WAM is installing the necessary dependencies for your project automatically, again using npm, and we will wait until finished. So let's wait. Okay, your project is ready, so we have to CD and see which files WAM has generated. So let's go there, let's go there, CD demo, and here we will open Visual Studio Code. Perfect. Now let's have a look to the files that WAM has generated. Uh, we have tsconfig.json. Here you can find the basic setting for uh, your TypeScript application. Of, of course you can change it wherever you want. And here we have a package JSON where, where we have three scripts. Uh, one for building, and one for start the application and one for debugging of course. Now let's see where is the main entry point of the application. Of course it's under the src folder and it's named thing.ts. Here you can write your own application. So let's do it. Uh, actually the first thing we have to do is to create the thing description. So let's create it. Let's call it demo.td.json or you can choose also JSONLD for the extension of the, the thing description file. Now, since this file has this extension, TD code is activated. And here uh, we have some code snippets available, like 
new thing. That's exactly what we want right now. So let's splash center. And now we have a basic stub for our thing description. Um, of course, if you don't have already installed the TD code, you have to go here and search for TD code in the extension panel and you just install it and then you will have this document validated and also the snips that, that I should that I just show you. So uh, here we have uh, our basic TD. Let's give it a name. Uh, we call it demo. Then uh, we, know, we will also add a property here and we call it hello and type which is a simple string a description it says hello and then maybe a title if you want we want readings. the description and title are optional of course type uh, is really important because it tells uh, to the consumer uh, the type of the return data so now our thing description is ready. Uh, we can we can see here that that it has no security, but here you can define also security schemes like OAuth or basic security schemes, and that's it. So the first thing we have to do is to load uh, this thing description in your application. We can do that importing the JSON file. So here you can do like demo.js and let's delete this say td okay that's fine now we have loaded the thing description uh, so now we have the td file loaded in your application and we have to expose it actually we have first to create a thing and then we have to expose it so the first thing we have to do is to produce a thing for that from then td file and then it's a synchron function so we have to wait until finished and then here we finally have a thing object which is not live yet we have first to add some handlers to it and here we set up a property read handler for our hello property and so that so we define a function here which is asynchronous and we just return hello Word. Okay, now we have our uh, redender configured. The next thing we have to do is to expose it to the world. So, expose. Now the thing is fully live and responds to a request for the other property. So let's see this in, in action. What we have to do. First we have to build our project. So npm run build. Okay, now one is called. As you can see a one build. And one has generated this file over here in this folder. It's called bundle.js. Here you have a bunch of uh, code that you can ignore, but here you can file your thing description, which is already parsed and loaded as a JavaScript object. Here we have our produce function and what we have um, written so far. And then uh, we have our thing exposed. So now we have to run the application and to do that we can just use npm start command. And that's it, your application is running, it's fully live. And to see if it's working just open your preferred browser, I use Chrome. And go to localhost 8080 slash demo. Here you can see the thing description. But maybe you can see there are a couple uh, more properties, like forms properties, uh, which is automatically filled by NodeWatt runtime. In particular, form property is really important because it tells uh, to other uh, consumer how to interact with the thing itself. Uh, so here you can see that to read the hello property, you have to do uh, a a get operation is the default, it's not written over here, to this link. So if we try it like this, you can see that is answering with hello world. So the function that we have brought is fully working. Now, the next thing is to debug this application. 
Debug the application is again pretty simple because one has already generated the file to uh, configure VS Code with, with the launch task. So here in the launch task panel, we have a, a launch task already defined for us, which is start application. So let's do it. So now VS Code has started the application. We can place a breakpoint over here, reload the page, so the function is asked again. As you can see here now, the page is loading and VS Code has stopped it over here. So the application uh, is in the bug mode. So we can continue here, we can stop, we can do like, uh, we can put here a variable maybe. Let's call it sum and do a simple stupid sum like 2 plus 4 and concaten concatenate the sum over here. So now we can inspect the variable and see if the debugger is working. So we launch again the task. Okay, uh, yeah, I forgot one step which is really critical that is do npm run build, of course, to update the code of the application. We can do that, we can start the debug section again. Okay, now you can see that the breakpoint is active. And here, let's load the page. VS Code is stopped again. And we can, and we can expect the variable over here. So it's six and press play. And you can see here, six is over there. So that's all. If you have question or comments, please use the uh, comments below and or maybe you can reach me on Twitter or on GitHub. So thanks for watching. Thanks for your, your attention. I hope you enjoyed. See you next time. Bye.